Dear students, welcome to my channel. Main topic of this video is query and query operation in information retrieval. Sub topic is automatic local analysis. Under this topic, query expansion through local clustering is covered. For local analysis, two topics are there: query expansion through local clustering and query expansion through local context analysis. In this video, the first topic is covered, that is query expansion through local clustering. now we will see first what is mean by automatic local analysis strategies to improve the search queries are fall into two categories one is by the directly input from the user and second is automatic enhancement user input is nothing but user relevance feedback which are given by the user directly when first time the result comes after the query submission by the user then user marks some of the documents as relevant and it didn't mark some of the documents that become the non relevant and this information is used to refine the search query based on their feedback so here the feedback explicitly is taken from the user for the query expansion as well as term reweighting in automatic enhancement we want to do the same things but without relying on the user so this strategy is aims to improve the search queries without requiring directly user feedback both approaches aim to enhance the search process but they differ in whether they rely on user involvement or operate automatically in user relevance feedback cycle the user separates the top rank documents into relevant and non relevant groups that is nothing but cluster to help the expand query this feedback relies on the idea that relevant documents contain the term for describing a large cluster of relevant documents another approach is automatic which involve identifying the related terms to the query these related terms can be synonyms stemming variations or word close to the query terms two main strategies are there under the automatic one is global in which entire documentation document collection is used to define term or concept relationship and local that is nothing but identifying the relationship based on the query specific context The local strategy is that documents retrieved for given query are examined at query time to determine the terms for query expansion. Means analysis takes place once the result displayed. Two basic types of local strategy: first is local clustering and local. Second is local context analysis. Local strategy suit for the environment of intranet, such as collection of documents issued by large business company, for searching information in specialized document collection. but it is not suitable for web documents or web search engine reason for not for web documents local techniques that rely entirely on documents retrieved for the current query have limitation in the context of web because of the following reasons local analysis is not offline process it is online or run time process for query given by the user where top rank documents are analyzed for query expansion and term reweighting access time retrieving the text of numerous web documents for local analysis is time consuming and reduces the interactivity of web interfaces which can frustrate the users computational resource analyzing a large number of web documents consume significant cpu time which is not cost effective for search engine handling numerous queries however local strategies can find value in environments like intranet specialized document collection where document numbers are manageable and the depth of analysis can yield a valuable result so basically it is suitable for the intranet medium where limited documents are there for local and global analysis we are considering the related terms for a query expansion that is nothing but synonyms stemming variation or words which are close to the query terms now stemming is nothing but when we see the document at that time generally the word comes in it's a basic form that is a morpheme and more most of, in most of the documents we generally use the variation for that spelling for example if basic word is help then its variation can be uh, helping helped helps helper helpful unhelpful helpless we found in document synonyms for large we can see big colossal enormous gigantic substantial massive abundance high huge and word close to the query terms so generally when we say the furniture so at that time the such type of soft word are very common when we are saying the furniture for example dressing table queen size bed 
किंग साइज बेड वॉर्ड्रोप एक्सेट्रा एंड फॉर कॉस्मेटिक फेस स्किन हेयर नेल पाउडर लोशन क्रीम आर क्लोज टू इच अदर एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ समाइम्स द वर्ड्स ब्रेक कैच टेक द वर्ड ब्रेक और कैच सो वेन वी यूज ब्रेक एंड कैच तो जनरली दिस फ्रेजेस कम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल ब्रेक रिकॉर्ड ब्रेक लेक ब्रेक द आइज सो दीज वर्ड्स आर वेरी क्लोज टू द ब्रेक एंड फॉर सिमिलरली फॉर कैच वी कैन सी दैट कैच अ बॉल कैच अ ग्लिम्स कैच सम रेज सो दीज आर वेरी मच कॉमन सो दे आर जनरली कम विद द कैच वर्ड्स दैट इज रिलेशनशिप इज देयर बिटवीन द टू वर्ड्स फर्स्ट इज क्वेरी एक्सपांशन थ्रू लोकल क्लस्टरिंग ऑपरेट सोली ऑन डॉक्यूमेंट्स रिटायर्ड फॉर द करंट क्वेरी लोकल फीडबैक स्ट्रैटेजीज आर बेस्ड ऑन एक्सपांडिंग द क्वेरी विथ टर्म्स को रिलेटेड टू द क्वेरी टर्म्स सच को रिलेटेड टर्म्स आर दोज प्रेजेंट इन लोकल क्लस्टर बिल्ड फ्रॉम द लोकल डॉक्यूमेंट सेट नाउ द एंटायर प्रोसेज ऑफ लोकल क्लस्टरिंग इज दैट फर्स्ट यूजर गिव द क्वेरी फॉर दैट क्वेरी द सिस्टम रिट्राइव द डॉक्यूमेंट सेट दैट इज कॉल्ड लोकल डॉक्यूमेंट सेट फ्रॉम दैट लोकल डॉक्यूमेंट सेट लोकल क्लस्टर आर फॉर्म इन दैट लोकल क्लस्टर वी कैन गेट द को रिलेटेड टर्म्स एंड दैट को रिलेटेड टर्म्स कैन बी यूज फॉर क्वेरी एक्सपांशन बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजी हियर स्टेम अ कैनोनिकल फॉर्म और बेसिक स्टेम इज नथिंग बट द रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एस विच रिप्रेजेंट्स द बेसिक मॉर्फिम एंड व्यू ऑफ एस इज नथिंग बट द नॉन एमटी सबसेट ऑफ वर्ड्स विच आर ग्रामेटिकली वेरियंट्स ऑफ ईच अदर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ स्टेम इज पॉलिश देन द वेरियंट्स ऑफ द पॉलिश वर्ड्स आर पॉलिश पॉलिशिंग पॉलिश for a given query we are retrieving the set of documents and that documents are selected for analysis that documents are represented by dl in that local document set the vocabulary is there and that is represented by vl so in that vocabulary for a particular stem variants may be there and that is all represented by vl and from that vl we can find out the sl which contains the distinct stem derived from the v strategies for building a local cluster so three class uh, three strategies are used first is association it consider the co occurrence of the stems inside the document metric cluster consider the distance between the two terms in a document scalar cluster consider the neighborhood of two terms do they have a similar neighborhood so if two stems have a similar neighborhood they may be correlated with each other so association cluster and scalar cluster we check across the document but metric cluster we form within the document association cluster so for association cluster we require to consider all these things so for a given query documents are retrieved by system that is nothing but local documents selected documents generally top rank dl are selected for analysis these documents contain a step which are not same as the given query words but they are similar in context because we want to expand the query so here we are uh, finding the keywords in that documents which are dominant and they are close to our query words now f s i j is nothing but this j is nothing but the document d j and which belongs to the dl category that is local retrieved documents and this s i that is this is nothing but the frequency frequency of that stem for that particular keyword so this is nothing but the f s i j we form a matrix of dimension s l into dl now for example dl is nothing but the documents which are selected for analysis purpose and from that documents we are getting the stems that is represented by sl where sl is stems from different local documents similar in context to the given query and dl is nothing but local retrieved documents now it is represented by m so m is sl into dl m transform transpose is dl into sl and when we take the multiplication of m into m transpose we are getting the local stem to stem association matrix that is this matrix is association between the stems and stems of the different documents each element of the stem matrix is represented by s of u v and it expresses the correlation ship between the s of u and s of u see this is nothing but the unnormalized so when we calculate directly this become unnormalized and when we want the their value should be lie between 0 to 1 we are getting for the normalized so this is the formula for normalized for example if our query is cosmetics and we select the top 10 rank documents for analysis so our dl is 10 and from that 10 documents we found the keywords like powder lotion lipstick face 
skin hair shampoo that is total seven keywords are extracted so dimension of m is 7 into 10 and dimensions of mt is 10 by 7 and when we multiply m into m transpose we are getting 7 into 7 matrix which is fully of the keywords from that 10 top 10 rank documents and these keywords they will show the strong association between them and these keywords are likely to be mapped close to the cluster of your basic query stems now for simplicity we will take the seven documents and three keywords now these three keywords are not same as our exactly query terms but they we found them into the seven documents but chances are there they are most likely close to our query stem now m is equal to sl into dl so three documents are there seven so its dimension is 3 into 7 we take the transpose that becomes 7 into 3 when we take the multiplication we are getting 3 by 3 that is a between k1 k2 k3 and k1 k2 k3 now this value if we see they are not normalized they we are not getting the value between 0 to 1 so this is nothing but unnormalized matrix to make normalization we require to apply this formula now when we make the normalization on the diagonal side it becomes 1 because association of the word with itself or stem with itself is always 1. So we require to use the formula for S of 1 1 it is 1 1 1 1 plus 1 1 minus S 1 1. So we are getting the same value. So the value is not shown for 2 2 and 3 3 because they will come as 1. Now S 1 2 is in the numerator we will keep S 1 2. Here it is S 1 1 S 2 2 minus S 1 2. For S 1 3 we will check only denominator. 1 1 3 3 minus 1 3 2 3 2 2 3 3 minus 2 3 so in this way we are getting the value for the different stem values the association between the different stems now we are getting this answer and here the values are normalized between 0 to 1 now we can see that the largest value is 0.224 we can't consider the diagonal value so except the diagonal values the largest value is between k2 and k3 so which shows that correlate highest correlation between k2 and k3 after that the next correlation is between the k1 and k3 and after that uh, a very weak correlation between k1 and k2 so what we are getting the observation that k2 and k3 are most correlated than k1 and k3 but and k1 and k2 are weakly correlated therefore we can take k2 and k3 in cluster to expand the query metric cluster association cluster rely on the frequency of the term pairs co-occurring in a documents regardless of their location within a document but in metric cluster it uh, concentrate within a single document and within a single document it finds that where that words appear or how much difference is there when the words appear in the document the to consider the term proximity within a document a metric cluster are used which factor in the distance between the two terms when measuring their correlation for example, it is represented by RKI KJ. That is nothing but the distance between the two keywords, and this distance is given by the number of words between them. If K and KJ are in distinct documents, then we take that infinity. So that's why we are considering the distance between the different stems within the same document. And after that, this is the formula for uh, calculating the distance and this is nothing but again no unnormalized. And after applying the formula, we get the normalized value now for example see our query is face care routine top 10 10 documents retired and we are getting three keywords powder lotion and face for d1 documents and now we'll find out that that where that uh, what is the number of words difference between the powder lotion powder face and lotion face and once we found this unnormalized distance by using the a value of variation of that particular stem we get the normalized value now see the example powder face lotion then in that particular document d1 for powder four variations come for face two variation comes and for lotion two variation comes that's why v of s that is variance of stem and their cardinality is 422 now in document the powder and face whenever comes uh, there is a difference of two words then there is a difference of five words seven words but we can see that when face and lotion comes they are very close to each other 
when powder this is powder this is when powder and face comes there is a medium difference and when powder and lotion comes there is a lot of difference between the words so we find out the distance that is formula 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 7 in this way we are getting the distance 0.9 9.20 and 2.08 now again this is not normalized and here we can see that between the face and lotion the value is highest so this is the unnormalized value now there is no need to take between powder and powder so we are not showing this value now for normalization we require to divide by the cardinality of the variance of the uh, that stem now if we say for powder four variations are there and for lotion two variations are there so it is divided by 8 powder and face powder for four face is for two divided by 8 and if we say lotion there are only two variation of lotion and two variation of face so it is divided by 4 so in this way we calculate the normalized value for association and here we can find out that this value is larger this value is 0.124 and here we can find out that this 0.52 value is larger that is between the face lotion and face lotion and face and here we can also see that lotion and face are occurring in a sentence or in a document very close to each other so here the value is basically 0.52 is largest value so there is a uh, relationship between the lotion and face third is scalar cluster the scalar cluster determine the synonymic relationship between the synonymity relationship between the local stems by comparing the set of s of u and s of u so for scalar case cluster first we require to take the association cluster and based on that association cluster we will take each row as a vector and we find out the similarity between the vector by taking the cosine angle between them so this is nothing but matrix we already form in the association and we require to take each row as a vector and we are finding the similarity between the two vectors to find out how much they are how much that particular stems are correlated with each other so this is nothing but vector so s of u is vector s of v e, and we are just finding the cosine similarity between this vector now we will take the previous example this is the output of association cluster and once output of association cluster is gets what we are doing we are taking this as a first vector second vector and third vector and we are finding out the relationship between the two vectors by multiplying the two vectors by this formula that is cosine similarity formula so we are getting the value so this is the first 1.097 so for vector multiplication we require to we already did the vector multiplication in vector model so we just add multiply the corresponding terms and make the addition and in the denominator we are taking the norm of the vector so after the calculation we are getting the value as 0.255 so you check this calculation i have seen shown all intermediate calculation so this is nothing but the summation multiplication and then their summation and this is nothing but the norm values so after the calculation we are getting the value 0.226 0.383 and 0.435 so we are again getting the strong association between the k2 and k3 so in matrix cluster also in association cluster and in scalar cluster we are getting the strong association between k2 and k3 now once three types of cluster form that is association matrix cluster and scalar cluster next is how we are going to expand the queries interactive search formulation stems that belong to cluster associated with the query stems can be used to expand the original query now this topic is somewhat difficult to understand so you require to read for two to three times to understand completely now here two concepts are there when we are putting the query in a system at that time whatever that uh, each query forms its own cluster that is each query word form its own cluster so in that query cluster we can also put that very close words of that particular query and they form their own cluster and where whatever that keywords we are found from the documents we can check that whether they are coming to this cluster or they are close to this cluster or not so stems that belongs to the cluster associated to the query st stems 
can be used to expand the original query. Such terms, such terms are called neighbors and are characterized as follows. They are sometimes referred as search names. These neighbors share a synonymity relationship in the context of the query, even they are not grammatically synonyms. For example, when we are finding the association cluster or metric cluster or scalar cluster, at that time, whatever these keywords, they are not exactly as query terms, but we found that query terms in the uh, local document retrieved set. So they are not exactly same, but they even they are not grammatically synonyms, but they have relationship between them. For example, cosmetic and face lotion powder. So cosmetic is not synonymically related with face powder lotion, but in the context they are related to each other. They often represent the related keywords that are correlated within the current query context. Now see here with the example, the things will be clear. Now this is nothing but our query and the query is belongs to cluster SV. Now in this the query terms are there and the terms that are very close to SV we can put also here. Now for particular query we are retrieving the documents and that is represented by DL and that is represented by VL that is variance of stems are there. Now SU belongs to VL. Now here SU belongs to SVN. If it is possible, it indicates that SU and SV are close. That is whatever word we found from the local documents is close to this SV. For example, SV is computer. We have given the query as a computer. And from that local return documents, we are getting the words like laptop, desktop and PC. And uh, we are finding a very strong association between them uh, in metric cluster also in the uh, scalar cluster also and in the association cluster also that's why we decided to take this SU in the uh, for query expansion but we found that this computer and computer has itself also creates one of the cluster and in that cluster it may keep the certain terms and in that certain terms laptop desktop and PCs are there so they are matching so it is uh, confirm that they are correlated because in the doc from the document also we are getting the same terms and the computer that is whatever the query word they also query word also creates its own cluster and in that cluster these words are also there so we are getting a strong association by the terms of context so consider for query query computer in this context the terms such as laptop desktop and pc might be identified as a neighbors of the query term Although these terms are not identical to the computer, means it is not computers, computerized, computer, computational, but they are different terms, but still they are closely related within the domains of computing. They might be part of the same cluster associated with the original query term computer and we could be considered the neighbor in this context and can be expand for the, uh, can be used for the query expansion. They can be used for extending a search formulation in a promising unexpected direction rather than merely complementing it with missing synonyms. Means we are not considering only synonyms but we are considering the context. When trying to improve a user search query, one approach is to add neighbor stem from the specific cluster to the query. These clusters are based on correlationship between the terms and can be of different types. For each term in the original this will clear with the example for each term in the original query we can choose several neighbor stem from the corresponding cluster and include them in the query the idea is that these additional terms will help to retrieve more relevant documents to create a comprehensive set of neighbor stems we can consider using a cluster with correlational factors which can be normalized and unnormalized unnormalized cluster gives us uh, more frequently occurring atom but while normalized cluster gives the rare items and combining these two types of cluster can give more accurate picture of possible terms correlation. So when we want to make go for query expansion we can consider the both type of cluster unnormalized and normalized. When we use unnormalized cluster at that time we are getting the more frequently occurring terms and with the normalized cluster we can even add the rare terms. So this is nothing but the advantage of unnormalized and normalized now see the example the idea will be clear let us say user is searching for the information about smartphones 
their initial query is smartphone. Now we want to use neighbor stems to expand this query. We look at the cluster associated with the term smartphone. In this cluster, there are related terms like mobile device, cell phone, iPhone, Android and tablet. We choose a few of these neighbor stems, mobile device and Android and add them to the user's query. So the expanded query becomes smartphone, mobile and device Android. Now, uh, for example, when we give the smartphone, at that time we are retrieving the documents and in that retrieve documents we are getting the keywords like mobile device, cell phone, iPhone, Android, tablet. They have a very high correlation. So we can check the normalized cluster also and unnormalized cluster also. And at that time we are getting that these values are very close to your smartphone query. So we are adding these terms to our existing query. By doing this, we aim to retrieve more documents that discuss smartphone, mobile device and Android device. The hope is that expanded query will lead to the more relevant search results for the user approach based on the disjunction this is very easy now if two stems s1 and s2 have correlation factor exceeding a defined threshold means they are very close to each other then a neighbor of stable stem s1 can also be considered as a neighbor of s2 and vice versa that is nothing but just increase the range of uh, keywords this flexibility is especially used in the boolean queries for example if the expression is s1 or s2 and if we found that su is a neighbor of s1 then we can use both type of query pay that is instead of s1 we can use the word su also that is su or s2 or su or s1 can be attempted as synonyms search expression let us consider the two terms car and automobile in a search query these terms have a correlation factor which exceeds a predefined threshold indicating they are very synonym to each other now let us say that sedan and is a neighbor of stem car now we can construct two synonym search expression that is sedan and automobile and sedan or car. Observation for local analysis or local analysis in that local clustering. Experimental results supports the idea of local clustering methods are useful. Metric cluster in particular tend to work better than purely association cluster. This suggests that there is a correlation between the term association and the distance between the terms. It is important to note that these findings are based on local cluster derived from documents derived from the current query and only few documents are selected for the analysis. In a global context where clusters are formed from all documents in the collection, this conclusion may not hold. This the correlation that work for the entire corpus might not be effective for specific queries. So this is all about the uh, query expansion by using the local clustering. Now here you require to read these particular slides uh, for two to three times to understand the things. But if you remember the example, you can write down or you can understand the concept very easily. So that's all about the local clustering first part. Thank you.